Hello, my name is Peter Bringy, pastor at Covenant Family Church. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how God has provided for our growth. Uh, Christians know that we have a long ways to go, that we uh, fall short in many ways and wish we were more spiritually mature, more mature in the faith and in practice. And so uh, God has not left us without ways to grow. He has provided for us richly and so um, we should be diligent to use his appointed means. And particularly, he's given us uh, his word, he's given us the sacraments, he's given us prayer and singing, uh, and the fellowship of the church, and those things in the fellowship of the church. So let's look at those um, separately. Here's uh, the word of God is given to us, uh, especially to proclaim his, uh, his will for us, his promises, his saving gospel. And yet the word must be used. It's not uh, profitable to everyone who hears it. There are many people who hear it and do not benefit by it. It has to be received with faith. It has to be received with faith so that we respond accordingly to it, uh, so that we internalize the word and love and cherish it. Um, we receive it with meditation, with diligent study and also by seeking to practice it. We gain better understanding and benefit from it more and internalize it more as we seek to live it out uh, and, and practice it and do not forget it once we've heard it. So the Word of God is a means for our growth as we use it with faith. Also the sacraments. God's given us baptism and the Lord's Supper, physical signs that act almost like a, a handshake, you know, that seals the deal, that confirms his word and, and, uh, and confirms his promise to his people. Baptism, including us in the people of God as those who've uh, received his promise and also the Lord's Supper is that we continually commune with uh, our Savior and, uh, and claim his saving death on our behalf as we approach the Lord's Supper. These are ways in which we are built up in maturity as we uh, have greater union with our God and Savior. We don't get a different blessing, but we get it in a different way as we partake of the sacraments. And again, only profitable when we uh, receive it with faith, uh, with uh, appropriate use of the sacraments. And baptism, some, even though it only happens once, uh, and, and for some of us as infants even, uh, continues to be something that is useful to us as we meditate on it and remember God's promise to us in it as we seek to live in accordance with it throughout our lives. And then also God has given us prayer. Jesus says, ask that you might receive. And how do we receive what God has promised us? Well, we ask for it. We claim it through prayer. We ask for what he has told us he will give us. Uh, the Puritan Thomas Watson once said that the, something like the, the tree of promise gives us its fruit when it's shaken by the hand of prayer. Uh, prayer is how we access what God has uh, promised us and how we grow in it. Uh, we ask it and he gives it to us freely. And singing is a way in which uh, it's kind of a combination of the ministry of the word as well as prayer. Because sometimes we're confessing the truth of God's word together and exhorting one another in it. And sometimes we are praying together in song as we are singing to him. So, and uh, as Colossians 3 says, as the word of God dwells among us richly, not only as we teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, but also as we sing hymns and psalms and spiritual songs uh, together in thanksgiving to God. And that also points out that all of this is done in the fellowship of the church. We're not meant to be orphans out on our own. We have a family that we belong to for our good. Uh, certainly, uh, private worship and devotions is important, especially because it reminds us that it's done for the audience of God, not for the praise of men. But we are also to be participating in these means of grace in the fellowship of the church to hear public preaching and receiving the sacraments with God's people and, and prayers together, as well as the, the more private but mutual edification that happens between uh, Christian brothers and sisters as we uh, encourage one another with words, as we converse about the things of God, as we help one another and, and put these things into practice in our lives. 
So God has given us many ways. Uh, we could talk a lot more about how these are useful for us as we seek to grow in uh, comfort and in strength and in holiness and an appreciation for what God has given to us.